this cover too, I suspect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A footprint. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Wow. All right, this is the first look behind the, uh, the covers on this machine. I've had this one a couple of years. This is a TR-70B. It came from a station, a small station in Champaign, Illinois. So today I've rolled it outside and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, air pressure work on it, so to speak. Uh, there's, I can see quite a few issues with it. There's a lot of dirt and uh, there's even some seeds in this back of this machine. I don't know where all this stuff came from, but it's going to get a good thorough air gun job. So we've got seeds coming out of the uh, head wheel blower um, tubing and I see some um, cables, some coaxes that are pulled off and just a whole bunch of dirt. So before I even attempt to apply power to this thing we're going to get uh, most of this dirt out of here. Here's another thing I look for, loose hardware and most of these machines have have nuts and bolts flying around in them. And I see one right here. There's a loose nut down in here. So we're just going to get that out of there before the air gun therapy hides it forever. Now we're down in the bottom left of the machine. This is where the machine cooling blower is. It's also driven off of the motor that runs the vacuum pump for the vacuum guide. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of fuzz in the squirrel cage blower on there. That's going to have to be gotten out of there or it's going to blow it all up through the cooling ducts of the machine. Not a good thing. There's also a bunch of fuzz in the power supply cooling plenum right here. This Cools the regulator for all the power supplies. It's got its own little little muffin fan. I don't know a lot about the history of this particular 70B other than what the folks at the station told me when I picked it up. They said that the station did buy it new, so it had been in that control room since day one, and that the last time they tried to use it, they had some kind of air problem. So I'm now seeing evidence of some air system troubleshooting here. Uh, the regulator and uh, the mechanism, the knob for adjusting the incoming air pressure to the machine is missing, and there is one of the filter jars missing on the vacuum pump definitely been some air system troubleshooting going on here. Not a problem because I have all that stuff, luckily.